Hi guys, so sorry I'm kind of messy, like my hair is frizzy-ish. Um, and I've got like a little board in my hand because I'm doing homework on it. And... Yeah, anyway, so I'm doing just like a video to thank my subscribers because I looked on my page and I have 103 now. And to me, that's, that's kind of crazy because only a few weeks ago, like a month ago, a month or two, two or ago. A, mo a month or two ago, I still had like 85-ish. So to me, that's pretty awesome. That's like 18 subscribers in a month, and I even lost one, so it's 19 technically. And then, because I regained it back like really quickly, but it was like a, a different person. So, um, yeah, that is really exciting to me. So, yeah... Um, and my last video, which was a mall haul, had 36 views, and I'm like, 36 views for a mall haul? That's surprising to me, just in a good way, I mean, yeah. So right now, I'm just doing my depressing homework on child soldiers, and I have to read, there, there are some primary source documents, and you have to answer some questions about them, so I have to read this one to you, because it's sad, it's really sad, they're in, um, um, Africa, I don't know what country specifically in Africa, but I'm assuming a lot of these are Uganda because of the Lord's Resistance Army in Uganda. Um, there's one by a girl named Susan who is 16 and said, one boy tried to escape, but he was caught. They made him eat a mouthful of red pepper and five people were beating him. His hands were tired and they made us... The other new captains kill him with a stick. I felt sick. I knew this boy from before. We were from the same village. I refused to kill him, and they told me they would shoot me. They pointed a gun at me, so I had to do it. The boy was asking me, why are you doing this? I said I had no choice. After we killed him, they made us smear his, his blood on our arms. I felt dizzy. There was another dead body nearby, and I could smell the body. I felt so sick. They said we had to do this so we could, we would not fear death and so we would not try to escape. And to me, that's really, that'd be really scary. I mean, to anybody, that'd be really scary. I don't know anyone who would want to do that. I mean, seriously, even to their enemy, I mean, you just couldn't. You'd have to be, you'd have to have a really crazy mind to want to do that. And sorry, that was so off topic, but there was one that's gross where they had, it was like talking about how they drink human blood in the morning, like their coffee. And I'm like, okay, TMI, but yeah. So it's, it, we, yeah, I don't not like social studies at the moment. So. Yeah, it's, <laughs> that was so off topic, but anyways, I really just did this video to thank you for the, <sighs> the 100 subscribers, hold on, I'm gonna get my phone for me, I don't have it with me, the computer is dying, wait, computer, oh, talk about my phone. I'm saying computer. Alright. It's actually just right over there, but I ended up getting up and hunting. So my 100 subscriber was... The... Who are you? No, that's not you. I think it was like the AMA girl. Hold on. I'm making sure. I might have deleted the email. I did. I think it was an accident. I did on accident, but it was the AMA girl. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, thank you for subscribing to the AMA girl. And for the three people after you, or two, who are not you, not you, not you, 
MacLover025, Kristen L130, and the person that subscribed to me today, EB Madison98. So thank you. Um, I'm sorry about my little. That's great. I just got a new subscriber today, and I start, started talking about how children in Africa drink blood like coffee. Okay, well, not all of them do, of course. Just the ones, the child soldier ones. And that that's got to be a good like impression of me, right? Right. So <laughs> thank you. I'm gonna finally wrap this up. Bye.